quiet in Luna's house. She's probably under the bed in somewhere, but... This is a bit of a new feature that I've put into a cage. Um, a couple of days ago, I think it is. And now it's got Primark lights shining through the hole at the top. <coughs> Basically, it's an old, old small shelf that I had from B and M. Where I've got them from. And you can see the gold bars and stuff there. Measured up with some cardboard, and then I spray painted it, and then clear coated it, and made sure it was all fully dry and stuff before I put it back in the ink cage. And then. Pop some letters on there, and I'm thinking about redoing this sign to a more nicer one because it looks a bit like um, a bit like a billboard or something there. But she's got a name on there as well with some nice fancy beading that I got from Asda, which is basically like a Christmas decoration type thing. But I think it'll look nice with the gold. And then I made this myself with some um, glue, and I obviously uh, had used hair, the hairdryer on it before I put it in the cage just to make sure it was fully all dry and stuff. But yeah, it looks super cosy, and I do just get some oil batteries with them light at the back, because, yeah, they, uh, they don't last very long, the, the batteries, um, but the Primark lights themselves are pretty, pretty good. But yeah, I'm going to head on, I'm going to get this cleaned out now, and I shall set up a time lapse, but I'll give you a bit of a rundown, um, well, I'll do it now, actually. Um, but as you can see, nothing's really, really changed in there at all. Um, obviously, it's got a hammock that I got made by Gemma from Facebook. And obviously, a garland there. And then this is the central point of uh, the detail, which is two wheels put on two B&M corner shelves. Uh, which got ages ago, and then it's got, got a tree pole there. I've got to be quiet because she is still sleeping. Um, I've got a bit of good news. She doesn't bite anymore, which is awesome. I've been tearing her for the past couple of weeks. Uh, well, more than that, actually. Um, I just got a bit of a bowl out with some salad bits on. Um, all safe, don't worry. Um, yeah, um, been tearing her for a few weeks now, and she's really, 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 really used to me. I got her out of my bed last night, just with, she was running around all over my bed. She's so soft when I stroke her now, she, she loves being stroked, and she loves being handled as well. Um, and then once I put her back in the cage, I give her a treat just to say thank you, um, you know, for, for, for being good out of the cage. Um, but yeah, she's she's fully used to me now and she doesn't bite anymore and I don't need them gloves anymore. So that's great. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead now, set up a time lapse and get this sorted because I don't know why, but when I'm asleep, she always she always manages to make a mess of this. Um... I don't know why, um, that's Luna for you, but anyway, uh, I want to get this sorted now and I shall get back to you.
Okay, folks, so now I've got that done. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick update on these now. As you can see, it is a candle, which I had on my desk. Um, but it's it's such a nice thing to sort of like throw away or, you know, give give my hamster Luna just for something to, to go in. But I thought I'd keep it for myself because she's got enough, a uh, couple of candle things in there and, um, you know, for treats and stuff. But um, what it is, I've been drinking... Um, herbal tea um from tetley the chamomile herbal tea from tetley for a couple of uh, like a week and three days now i think it is um because i obviously read up, read, up, read up about it and stuff online and um as you can see the these are all the tetley tea bags um cam tetley caramel tea from asda one pound fifty they are i read up about it online and it's um meant to help with anxiety and sleep now um I've been taking these for like a week and three days now, um, as I've already said, and I already can feel the benefits of them. Um, so basically what it is, it's just like a normal tea bag, um, but obviously it's caramel tea and they smell really good. Um, I have one bag a night and as you can see I've got plenty there. I'm going to buy some more this week however though, because um, I really think that they are really helping at the moment with my sleep and anxiety. So I have one tea bag every single night, um, just one um, is all I need, because within an hour I start to feel really relaxed, really, really sleepy, and I wake up the next morning feeling refreshed, um, really like productive, wanting to do things, something that I'd never wanted to do before I actually took these. Um, now I know it's different for a lot of people, herbal tea is, is different for a lot of people. Let me know in the comments if you do drink herbal tea, um, and let me know if you, you know, if it, if it helps you or not. But I feel really refreshed, and the past couple of weeks and stuff, um, I've been dealing with that like um, anxiety and depression, and just really demotiv demotivated to do stuff. But after taking these, I feel a little bit more motivated and like you know a little bit more like alive and awake um, than I did before taking them, because I wake up feeling really refreshed and really like productive and stuff, and um, whether it's to do stuff for Luna, my uh, female rush dwarf hamster, and um, who was really really fun and now she she doesn't bite, so that's a bonus. Um, but yeah, I just filled up this empty jar because I had it on my desk, um, and it's a bit of a nice jar to, you know, not throw away. So I have one tea bag a night of those, and I really do feel like it's helping me with my sleep and stuff because. I go to sleep and I feel like I'm getting enough sleep and stuff. I do have quite a few bags under my eyes, but like, yeah, I do. I don't know if you can see, but I, I used to have like bags and stuff under my eyes. Um, a bit. I don't know if you can see that properly, but I sort of fade and stuff because I've been sort of getting in, like enough, enough sleep in. But um, yeah, even before even before taking these, I just felt really devout, demotivated to do stuff. And um, this was this channel was the only pe only thing that was like sort of keeping me going. But now I've taken them, I just want to do stuff. Um, I feel really motivated to do stuff, and I feel I wake up feeling really, really re refreshed and ready to to go and productive. The past few days have been really productive and stuff. You know, cleaning in my hamster's key, hamster's detail, and you know, just making DIY bits and stuff. But I really do feel like it's helping me and the benefits of that. Um, I did tackle tackle tea in my tweet. Um, so hopefully they've seen it and hopefully maybe send me out a free box or something. But um, it's not you know, um, it's not a sponsor or anything. This, but um. Yeah, I just want to give you a heads up on them. They really are helping me. And if you want to get some for yourself, they are £1.15 in Asda. Um, I'm going to get off now. Because <coughs> my brother and sister have just come, come back um, from um, town. And I've not eaten anything. So they've got me some pork pies to have to eat. So, yeah. Um, there will be a... I'm going to be filming a Cleveland's vlog this Friday as well. Which will be up on Thursday. Um, no. I will be filming it on Friday. And it will be up on Sunday. So, um or possibly Saturday, but probably Saturday, because um, I've not done a Cleaver's vlog for a while. So, yeah, just want to see this video, um, just so that it's a bit of a, there's no huge gap in between then and for um, Saturday when the next video will be up. But, yeah, £1.50 in Asda, um, if you feel like you want to get yourself some.